This post is about setting defaults to help Reaper keep projects organized. With these settings, it is much easier to share and archive your Reaper projects as all media items and more are stored in named folders within your main project folder. Let's go to File and Project Settings. You can also get there by hitting Option Return on the Mac or Alt Enter on Windows because remember, every time you use a mouse, God kills a kitten. Any settings you make here, from sample rate, default pitch algorithms, frame rates, and more, pertain to your current project. However, you can also save them as defaults for future projects. Here are a few settings I like to keep as defaults. In the Media section, type Media in the first empty slot to have Reaper create a folder called Media in your project folder. This will create a default folder in which all media files for the project are saved, potentially decluttering your project folder. For import of media to project, I recommend setting Copy Media to Project Path. This will create copies of your media and put them in your project folder. If your computer hard drives are anything like mine, this lessens the chance of audio and video files getting lost in the maze. If you want, you can also set the default sample rate, bit depth, and more in all of these sections. Finally, click Save as Default Settings. So these settings will be used in your future projects. Remember these settings can be changed at any time as your needs change. Here are some other preferences I like to keep as default. Open your Reaper preferences by going to the Reaper menu on Mac or Options menu on Mac and Windows and opening Preferences. Then, in the Project setting under Project Saving, select Keep Multiple Versions. This will keep multiple selectable versions of your backups, allowing you to recall older versions of your projects from within a single file. You can also set how often you would like it to autosave. Now when you open your backup file, you will see that there are multiple timestamped versions for you to select from. Next, go to the Media section, then under Waveform Media Peak Caching Settings, select Put New Peak Files in Peaks subfolder relative to Media. This will create a folder in the Media folder you created above. The new folder will be called Peaks and will contain your Peak Files, which are the files Reaper creates and uses to display waveforms. This can also help declutter your project folder. And finally, if you are working with a newly created file that has not been saved yet, Use Save. If the file has already been saved and you change the settings, use Save As. Then, select Create Subdirectory for Project and copy all media into Project Directory. Save and you are done.